Have you ever experienced this when you're brewing cool world coffee at home? Of course you have. Stalling is one of the most common problems when brewing cool world coffee. It's something that almost any barista or home barista will experience sooner or later. So in today's video, we're going to go into five reasons why this happens to your brew and how to fix them. Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Esa Christensen from The Coffee Chronicler and today we're going to take a close look at why this thing called stalling is happening. Stalling is comparable to when you have a clogged drain at home in your kitchen sink or bathroom. It's super annoying. So the main way to know that you're experiencing stalling is that you have a flow rate that decreases rapidly and suddenly this it seems like there's almost nothing happening and the water level just won't go down it just keeps at the same level in today's video we're going to go into five main reasons why this is happening and what you can do to fix it and at the end of the video i'll also share a few bonus tricks that can help to mitigate this problem so reason number one why this is happening is that you're pouring too aggressively so Many people don't think about this, but when you're making pourable coffee, you have to balance the level of agitation. So if you pour aggressively in the beginning of the brew, that can be okay, as long as you pour more gentle in later stages. So one of the main ways to fix uh, stalling is by pouring more gently. So you can also do this if you don't have a really good gooseneck kettle, you can use uh, something called the mellow drip or you can use the Gabby drip master b which kind of like takes away some of the manual errors reason number two that you experience stalling is that either you have a too fine of a grind or your grinder is not good enough so when people uh, share recipes online they will often tell you to grind very fine uh, grinding fine can be okay if you have a very good grinder but Many people who experience stalling uh, don't have the best grinders in the world. Maybe you have an entry-level, manual, Herio grinder, something like that. And if you try to grind very fine, there's a good chance that you'll produce a lot of dust. Uh, this thing that we call fines in the coffee community, which tend to clog up the filter very easily. So you can just back off a few notches, grind coarser, and then that can help uh, mitigate the problem. So one thing uh, you might have to do is change the recipe slightly. So if you're brewing at, let's say, a 1 to 16 ratio at a finer grind size, maybe you have to back it off to 1 to 15 and then uh, just grind coarser. So that's a super easy way to fix the problem. And uh, yeah, it's something you can do right now. Reason number three that you're experiencing stalling pours at home is that you're using the wrong filter. So this might sound a little bit crazy, but actually the Herio V60 filters aren't made of the same quality as they used to be. So a few years ago, Herio changed uh, factories. And as a result of that, their, their filters aren't that good anymore. I'm not saying that you can't make good coffee with the uh, filters from Herio, but if you experience stalling very often, I would suggest you try another brand called Cafic. Their filters tend to have a better flow rate because the inside is more porous, which will let the, make it more difficult for the fines to clog the filter. Reason number four that you're experiencing a lot of stalling at home is simply that you're using the wrong dripper. So, if you're using the stainless steel Kaleida Wave, I'm sure you're going to experience a lot of stalling. So one of the reasons why this happens is that the rips in the stainless steel Kaleida Wave simply are very shallow. They don't really do a very good job at lifting up the filter away from the drain holes and that causes stalling. Another uh, issue with this uh, particular model is that the holes are uh, slightly too small, so it actually has a slower flow rate compared to the other Kaleida waves. So I actually did a comparison between the different models 
over on my blog. Uh, you can check out the link in the description. But I compared it to the other models and they are actually have a, a lot faster flow rate. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Because these models should behave identically, but they just don't. So if you're using this one here, I would be very cautious. So the last reason you're experiencing these slow stalled pours is that you're brewing very light roast dense coffees. So when you're grinding light roast coffees, they tend to create more fines, especially the denser types. Um, Ethiopian coffees are really famous for this. And there's just no way, easy way to fix this problem. If you're following step one to four, you stand a much uh, better chance of being able to brew these coffees without stalling. But this is just a part of how they, how they brew. So if you, have a, if you happen to have a very light roast Ethiopian coffee or any other like high altitude coffee, then you should be aware that they tend to uh, clock the filters more easily. So if you follow step one to four, then you stand a much better chance at not uh, having a stalling pour over. So, but before we go, I have three more bonus tips for you that can help you avoid stalling pour overs. So tip number one is to use water close to a boil. So this is something James Hoffman has talked about in another video, and that is that uh, the hotter the water, the more rapidly it goes through the coffee. So if you are brewing a very light roast, dense coffee, this is something that you can use uh, to your advantage. Tip number two that you can use to avoid this problem is to take your doses a little bit down. So if you're typically brewing 25, 30 grams of coffee at a time, maybe just try experimenting with 15, 16 grams and see if you can get better brew times that way. My third and final tip for you is to sift your coffee. You don't need the expensive crew sifter. You can actually use the cheaper model on eBay, which uh, will do a, quite a fine job at uh, getting rid of those small dusty particles. Uh, and they are super easy to use. So yeah, just remember that Fines are one of the main culprits when it comes to stalling pours. So if you can take out some of those fines, that will uh, give you much better brew time and often it will also uh, help the clarity of the cup. That's it for today, guys. These are my tips on how to avoid stalling when you're brewing pour over coffee. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It helps a lot. And uh, also remember that I have a post about this on my blog. So you can check it out. The link is in the description down here. So that's it for now. Uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.